Warrior Warriors, I've got two very short messages for you, but actually the first one is excellent news. I have brought out some amazing free for three months astrology for you, which is unique just for you. So it's based on your time, place, and date of birth. It's not generic, it's specifically for you. It's your daily love horoscope. You can see what, what if it's a good day for love, a very detailed description of what's going on for you daily, and also a yearly horoscope. And on top of that, compatibility and soulmate charts. So you can get someone else, a lover or a friend, if you know their time, date, place of birth, you put that information in and you get a big thing just about the two of you's unique dynamic. And there are pages of wonder awaiting for you, totally free as my gift to you for three months. Just go to horoscope.co.uk. Please share it with your friends and enjoy. Hey Glorious Virgo, how you doing? This month has a whole heap of possibilities and it kicks off straight away actually with a fabulous new moon and I say fabulous because it's got some lovely connections going on that make it super uh, good. So it brings fabulous news, it brings opportunity, it brings expansion and for you you're thinking about right I'm changing my life I'm leaping in, I'm sorting things out, I'm gonna focus on my work, I'm gonna be meticulous, I'm gonna do all the things I'm good at actually. And most importantly, you may be thinking that you wanna sort out your health and well-being in some way, and you're very clear that you're gonna look after your beautiful self, you're gonna take care of your beautiful self, and this moon is supporting that and saying, right, okay, I believe in you, let's have a new start in that area. So any anything you wanna change, any negative happens, habits, any negative patterns, all of that you could just clear out once and for all. And then we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your communication zone and allowing you to express yourself in a very, very balanced manner. You see the beauty in other people, in your relationships, you can bring the beauty out, you can bring the calm out, you can bring the flow out, and you find yourself sort of merging with your partner, talking on a deeper level. If you're single, well, it's very, very good because other people are fascinated by what you've got to say. And there's a lot of kind of flirtation and openness. Mercury is your ruler. So when Mercury shifts signs, it gives you superpowers in that area. And the superpower you're getting this month is all about your intimate relationships. And you should have a wonderful time, an easier time. And if a relationship cannot have balance, then you should be balanced enough in yourself to be able to let go, and that's half the battle one. We then have Mars conjunct Uranus. You might have an unexpected opportunity, and you're gonna to have to be much stronger than usual, or in fact, you might feel stronger than usual. Um, this unexpected opportunity may even involve somebody annoying you and, and you re reacting in the moment. Don't let it get too carried away, because when Mars and Uranus come together, it's a you know, an energy like that. So before you get to that date, when is that? Around the 13th, 13th in the UK, Google it, whichever country you're in. Examine, is there anything bothering you? Uh, is there, are you angry about something and you're repressing it? Don't hold it in or on the 13th, it'll be like bang. On the 14th though, Mars is shifting signs and making you a very intrepid adventurer. You want to swashbuckle around the world, you want to explore. Uh, Mars is making you wanna do things that are a little bit risky, so be careful of that. But you're, you're, you're determined to kind of put your energy into all things different. Then we've got Venus joining forces with Saturn. Again, that's very good for your intimate relationship. Saturn is saying, yeah, yeah, I wanna commit now. I wanna to commit to happiness. If you're in a good relationship, you're gonna be ready to settle down a bit and you're feeling very creative, you're feeling very outgoing. You might actually draw some abundance to you through doing something that you love, but you're, you're feeling a lot more secure when it comes to anything to do with relationships. Do not forget, it's important to build on your relationship with yourself. The sun is shifting signs, going into your relationship zone, and then we have Mercury conjunct Neptune in your relationship zone. There's a lot of romance and potential to, to really dive deep when it comes to all of your intimate connections and even your friendships. You're feeling much closer to people. You're feeling much more open emotionally. You're flowing in your emotions. Um, you might find yourself in a conversation with someone and it gets a little bit too flirtatious and you're a little bit surprised, so look out for that. But the big news of the month for you is 
on the 19th UK time, you have a super full moon in your sign. Boom. This is your peak experience of the year. This is your peak experience of connecting with your intuition and getting a sign, a symbol, an important message that rises up from the depths of your being. So definitely pay attention around that day to see what the cosmos is trying to tell you. Tune in to things that you're ignoring or pushing to one side. And that's a kind of fundamental message of this month. We then have Venus conjunct Pluto. I'm telling you, it's going to get hot and heavy this month. Intensity, passion, and kind of delighting in really sort of being like that with someone like properly um, drawn in. If you're not into relationships, you're celibate or you're not interested, then your passion is stoked towards your creativity and coming up with something, giving birth to an idea. Anyway, let's see what your tarot have to say. Okay, Virgo, let's see what uh, the tarot says. It may be symbolic, it may be meant for you, not meant for you. Tune in, use your intuition to see if this message is meant for you and if it can help you navigate the month. Okay, first card, well, it's for you, I can tell you that already. Queen of Pentacles, a Virgo human. That is you. Uh, maybe you're, you're looking and examining the things in your life and what, how you want to ground it and what you want to achieve, which is, you know, partially what that new moon is saying, getting yourself together, allowing yourself to just reflect on everything and organising your life. There may be some confusion. I think you sense there may be some changes. I think you may sense that, that right now you have to choose what makes you happy and you might be kind of arguing with yourself about that. Maybe there's something uh, difficult that you... Do you know what? This is why I bloody love the tarot. Because this is exactly what I'm saying. You might be arguing your, with yourself, not because you have to leave something that isn't good, but because you need to find out where that missing cup is. And, you know, it's difficult sometimes, isn't it? We know we have to go on a journey. We know that we have to take the path uh, less travelled. We know we have to head towards something because we've got a soul calling and that seems to be what's going on for you this month. And you know what? It came up when I was thinking it and saying it, it was already there for you. And there are opportunities coming to you, opportunities for a new world, actually. Sometimes we're offered something and we think, yeah, all right, then I don't know, blah, blah. And it ends up being far more significant than we think it is. And again, that is one of the messages for you. Look out for opportunities. You may feel a bit overwhelmed. There's a lots of changes going on. You may feel that you're under a bit of pressure. But guess what? If you look at this card, what do you see? You're winning that battle. You're on top. Look at all those other pressures coming in, but you're still fighting them off. You're still moving forward. You've got some good friends around you. You've got a, a sort of a very jovial, delighted, happy vibe going on this month, which is also... Uh, I keep pulling the hangman. I'm going to say it, but I'm not sure. I pulled it every bloody time. So anyway, it might be just a cosmic vibe. If there's something specific you're waiting for and it isn't happen, happening, put your focus on the things that you can control or enjoy or create. Don't just keep focusing on the one thing that you want to happen. It's a bit like watching the kettle boil. It takes much longer. Uh, look out for an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius that's coming your way. And that's just said to me, Michelle, just can talk about that a bit more because I've got another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. There's somebody trying to encourage you to be adventurous and trying to show you different ways of being and, and maybe quite a little passionate soul. Yeah, life will take off. That limbo is not lasting. You've got the chariot here. Now, remember, it is your mind that controls the chariot, what you think, what you believe about yourself. You know, when you focus on something, that's what's going to make the chariot go because this chariot hasn't got any reins. The reins are you, baby and your soul. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.